all right guys welcome back to another video in which we're gonna take a look at how to upgrade to react native 0.6 that is 0.60 so 0.60 is a big update for react native a lot of breaking changes both in android and ios world and in this video i'm gonna show you some tips you must keep in mind when you're performing this upgrade from a lower version in order to speed up things so i have spent around three to four hours now approximately getting this update working with the official code dam application and there are always some nits and grits still but it's working at least so anyway what i'm gonna begin with is a bunch of tips so to start off with the first step is nuke your node modules folder before starting off just do an rmrf on just do rmrf on your node modules because you're gonna mess around with the modules a lot in this upgrade so once you do that uh what i'm gonna do recommend you next is just go ahead in your cradle wrap wrapper dot properties and make sure you are above 5.1.1 or above just upgrade your cradle as well all right once you have done that in your build.cradle file make sure you have this android jsc maven dependency and uh, once you have that it should take care of a lot of errors just make sure you have a structure something like this right you have this google and jcenter too once you have that you should be good to go now in react native 0.60 what we have is something known as auto linking so what auto linking allows us to do is we don't have to make use of react native link now so that would create some problems so what you want to do first of all is just go ahead in your main activity java or main application java rather <clears throat> and you're gonna see <clears throat> sorry and you're gonna see a lot of packages here not like this but rather just defined with new your package name and new another package name right so what you want to do is you want to have a structure something like this and pretty much yours should be empty here at first right just make sure this is empty you you just want it like this right this part comes when there are some packages which you want to link but are not be able to auto linked right so they don't support auto linking right now so to fix that you're gonna add your packages manually here but i'm gonna come to that later on which brings me to my next point that is um upgrade all of your packages now this one is important you don't have to mindlessly upgrade everything like that what you have to do is just go to your package dot json file and right here take a good look at those packages especially the ones which have some sort of native integration like react native fpsdk react native firebase react native file system react native google sign in packages like these which you know because you have coded them or at least integrated them in your project you know that they have <clears throat> some sort of native code working under the hood so what you want to do is just go ahead on their github repositories and check for any latest package version because react native 0.60 starts supporting in in fact working with something known as android x which is a new packaging i won't say it's a new packaging system it's just a new convention to name packages which means that there would be breaking changes and it's better that your libraries fix those changes themselves instead of you manually patching them so a word of advice go ahead take a look at the, those packages especially the ones which have native integrations with your project and go to their github repositories check the release tabs and follow along if they have any sort of instructions whatsoever for react native 0.60 support in my case i was able to make use of react native fbstk that is this 1.0.0 release candidate 0.4 version 4 which actually supports um this thing the auto linking part if i am at a lower version than this auto linking is not supported so that was the thing for me so 
yeah this brings me to my next point and that is make use of this package called jettifier now jettifier is this package which is going to convert your existing native modules to support android x right and uh, obviously what you want to do is first of all install this as npm install once you do that just do npx jettify in your main directory that is just to npm install jettify and then npx jettify so once you do that it's going to throw in how many files it has detected in your node modules folder which could be patched and it's going to run a patch through them this is extremely important if you're working with react native 0.60 because it converts it converts the imports to support android x right all right so once you do that what next you could do is let me just think and yep just go ahead and comment out all of your dependencies from here everything except something which you want to link manually again you you don't want this right now I want I have this here because I had to link it manually and comment everything so your this section should be pretty much just blank except for the default ones which come um, by default right so once you empty this one just go ahead and empty your settings dot cradle as well so this should be empty as well just these two particular lines I'm gonna leave a link in the description which um, is a is a pretty good tool from react team itself but what it is it's, it's just a git diff between the official ap example applications of react running 0 0.5 9.9 and 0 0.6 so i guess yeah it's it's useful but not a lot so yeah so you can pick that these uh things up from there go ahead and follow those steps very carefully and uh, you're gonna find all those code snippets there so don't forget these codes code snippets to include and again just ignore this because this is manually linking packages all right you need these two um, properties here in gradle.properties as well that is use android x and enable jettifier so this basically just enables android x support and this jettifier means that android would try gradle would try to rewrite the binaries itself to support android x but in a lot of cases it cannot so yeah we had to use this jettify tool to manually patch the uh binaries right so yep i guess that's it for the tips and again for manual linking of packages i would highly recommend you to go first of all go and check the github repository of packages you have installed check the issues check what's going on with the react native 0.60 release and see if anything is there which you could uh integrate yourself but if there's nothing's there then you could obviously just go ahead and manually link the packages just like you would do earlier so you just have to add your package right here just like you would do right you're gonna add your package again to the dependencies section as well right so this is how you're gonna do it regularly and you're gonna add your package to your settings.cradle file as well just like that right so these are the three steps you need to do in order to manually link a package in my case it's react native firebase react native firebase is not supported whatsoever by um react native 0.60 or linking so i have to do that that way and yeah one more thing i guess i forgot i'm not really sure if i spoke that earlier or not but i'm still gonna just put it out right now and that was i just saw it yeah just make sure you copy this code this piece of code snippet as well again this is um there in the git diff tool which is linked in the description so you're good to go there so you see that uh, you just have to use uh just declare this variable and just copy paste this which makes use of a uh, uh, javascript core implementation on android and yeah i guess we need these two lines as well so yeah that's pretty much it for the upgrade part and uh, once you do that you i'm not saying that your upgrade should be smooth 
you're gonna get a lot of problems a lot of things make sure you uh, clean your caches nuke your node modules folder do a fresh npm install upgrade your react native libraries and obviously i mean that's that's pretty obvious right you have to upgrade your react native libraries to 0 0.6 and react library so these two are important just upgrade them to these versions and uh, uh, nuke your node modules folder do all the steps as i said and uh, hopefully you would be able to run into react native 0 0.60 if not, then there's probably some problem with your packages which you have. Try to Google them up, try to go to your GitHub repositories and see any issues which people are having already and they're fixed. But uh, yeah, I would say if you are not too excited to waste like four hours of your life, then wait a little for React Native 0.60 to become a bit more stable. A bit more used by another pe other people so that uh, a lot of major issues are covered but if you're just as excited as I am to try new things then yeah that's that's it that's how you are gonna do that so yeah just go ahead and do it so that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one and yeah by the way i had my um, whole upgrade procedure actually recorded it, it's like uh, three and a half hours to four hours video and i was like let's just go ahead and edit this somehow but it was so insane to actually locate the parts i was i, I wanted in the video so i just decided to yeah let's leave it i'm gonna record a new video on the upgraded one so yeah, that's pretty much it. It's painful to upgrade React Native. That's the conclusion.